think we'll go down one. Okay. Down one? Alright. Let's go. First you're gonna go up. And now we're gonna go back down. Now we're gonna go back up. Hi everybody, this is Eric, and this is my homemade electric motor scooter with two speeds. First I'll do a quick 360. So I'll start out with the newest things on my scooter. Put this decal on. EB for my logo after my name. I named the, the scooter the shifter because it shifts gears. This is the fifth generation. I've had four other scooters before this that I've made modifications to, or four versions, and I arrived at this. So the things I've done that are different are this PVC right here. So this is a one and a quarter inch PVC. PVC Y and a 22 degree elbow. So the reason I was able to do this much thinner and more direct I guess was because I, I found steel pipe that fit through here. So I made a custom piece of steel to fit in this joint right here and then a straight piece that came down through here. So I glued that in with liquid nails and that's what keeps this joint strong and the structure strong so that I'm able to stand on it. Next thing that's new is my two speeds. So it's based off a bicycle system with two bike chain rings, a bike chain, and a bike derailleur. And I made my own homemade chain tensioner right there with two pulley gears and a spring. So the derailleur pushes the chain back and forth and then the chain tensioner takes up the chain slack so that the chain stays tight on both gears. So here are my handlebars. I have two handle grips, uh, 36 volt variable speed throttle and a grip shift gear shifter with a handle brake right here. So this is how I change gears. So this, I forgot to mention earlier, this is a 36 volt scooter, 36 volt 500 watt motor, and three 12 volt 12 amp batteries. So here's my suspension, homemade suspension made of plywood, some pipes, and I have about five one inch compression springs in here, in each one of these. So these pipes absorb the shock with those springs so that it makes a smoother ride. Here's my charger port, so I can finally charge all the batteries at once instead of having to pull them out. So my battery box is under there, mounted with some brackets that slide into these rails right here. So you slide those out and you can pull the battery backs out. Here's my key start. So the only way to turn on the scooter is with the key. 
So I have kind of a unique key here that fits in here. And then when you turn it, light turns on up here and the power's on now. Same thing, when I turn it off, you just put it in and then turn it back. So I made a little, mounted a little toolbox here for my tools if I need to tweak anything. It's got two magnets here, so it's clip on basically. Right there. And right here, these things kind of look like rockets on the sides. These are clip on handles that I use to pull people on their skateboards. So I have these two ropes that hook onto the handles and then I have some mountain clips, mountain climber clips, I don't know what they're really called, the clip onto this slide rail here so I can pull people. So this scooter goes around 21 miles per hour top speed on the lower gear right here and then on the higher gear it goes faster but it has less torque so this has more torque but lower speed and this has less speed but more torque or sorry more torque but less speed so on the lower gear I haven't tested the speed full speed but I'm assuming it'll go around 25 miles per hour since on the other one it goes around 21 so top speed around 21 25 around there for each one and this is my homemade electric motor scooter with two speeds